It's August 30th of 1986. On a warm summer day in Stuttgart, Germany, one athlete would set a world record that was so utterly insane that it has now stood for more than 36 years. He's really caught that one. Oh, and it's close to the world record. And Sedig already acknowledging what could be, and I say could be, a new world record. In the men's hammer throw, Yuri Sedik from the Soviet Union launched this 16-pound hammer a staggering distance of 86.74 meters, which comes out to 284 feet and 6 inches. This throw has not only stood the test of time against many tremendous athletes throughout the years, but it also represents one of the more controversial records to last more than three decades. In the men's hammer throw, launching this apparatus over 85 meters has proven to be one of the most difficult things to do in all of athletics, as it's only happened on very rare occasions throughout history. And to this day, only two athletes have ever eclipsed the 86 meter barrier, which include Yuri Sedek himself and also Sergei Litvinov, two athletes both from the Soviet Union who competed primarily in the 1980s. It's honestly difficult to imagine throwing a 16-pound rock, a distance of 86 meters, under pretty much any circumstance. And for the American audience, a more understandable reference point is to imagine throwing the heaviest available bowling ball almost the entire length of an American football field, as 86.74 meters comes out to just over 96 yards. Combined with his ridiculously quick spin rate, his historic release velocity, and his nearly perfect form throughout his movements, Sedek spearheaded one of the most dominant eras in athletics history, and despite massive talent that has come and gone throughout the previous few generations, there is a reason why many people consider Yuri Sedek to be the absolute greatest of all time in the men's hammer. On July 18th of 1976, a relatively unknown Sedek from the Soviet Union entered the men's hammer throw in the Olympic Games with an outside shot to win a medal. Now, heading into this competition, he had been competing very well throughout 1976. In fact, up to this point, he was actually undefeated throughout that year, throwing beyond 76 meters for his previous two showings before the Montreal Olympics. And with this positive momentum building up into this championship, he took advantage of that fire, throwing a second round effort of 77.52, which proved to be far enough to win the Olympic gold medal by almost a meter and a half. With his amazing technique and super quick release, this 21-year-old superstar had officially become the world's best on this day. However, to the surprise of many, this would only be the very beginning to one of the most dominant athletes to ever compete in any sporting event. This is the story of the greatest hammer thrower to ever live. European gold, 78, 82. Very fast, very After making history in the 1976 Montreal Olympic Games with a new Olympic record throw of 77.52 meters, Sedek only continued throwing extremely well throughout the remainder of the 1970s. In 1978, he won the European Cup with a throw of 77.28. In 1979, he spent a few months in Japan, winning three straight competitions with consistent throws beyond 77 meters. But it was really in 1980 that saw Sedek perform better than anyone else in history, and for his first competition of that season, he did something that absolutely shocked the world. For his first competition in the Soviet Union, Sedek was slated to compete against Yuri Tom, also representing the Soviet Union. Now, at the time, Sedek was only 24 years of age, however, Tom was actually only 23. Now, despite their young age, both of these throwers were considered as two of the best on the planet, and on this one day, history was made in dramatic fashion. For the first two rounds, Sedek and Tom went back and forth, throwing opening round distances of 78.3 for Sedek, eclipsed by a 78.82, followed by a 79.6, and a 79.7 meter throw for Yuri Tom. These opening four throws signified that both Sedek and Tom just knew how to get the best out of each other. However, for the third round, things escalated extremely quickly. 
For this third round, Sedek opened with a new world record launch of 80.38 meters, eclipsing the previous mark of Karl Hans Rem from West Germany. Now, this was Sedek's very first world record of his career, which made this moment an extremely happy one for Yuri Sedek. However, just moments later, Tom responded back with another world record throw of 80.46 meters. This was one of the all-time quickest world record trade-offs in athletics history. However, despite this dramatic moment, things were about to get even crazier, because in round 5, Sedek launched the hammer a distance of 80.64 meters, which proved to be the best winning distance on the day, and it also was a new world record, breaking Tom's previous mark some 30 minutes later. This incredible back and forth was not only a significant moment for the hammer throw, but it proved to be a significant moment for Yuri Sedek. No matter who, no matter where, and no matter when, he was ready for a victory in this demanding discipline. And upon arriving at the 1980 Olympics just a few months later, he was certainly ready for something special. For his first throw of this Olympic Games, Sedek effectively ended the event before it even started. With a historic throw of 81.80 meters, he broke the world record yet again, and for the remainder of the competition, no athlete even got within one meter of this incredible mark. Even Sergei Litvinov, an athlete that had actually set another world record just two months earlier, stood no chance against this 81.8 meter throw. By this point in Sedek's career, at just 25 years of age, he had already won two Olympic titles, he had broken the world record on three occasions, and many people already considered him to be the single greatest hammer thrower of all time. This very impressive athletics resume is already far beyond what most people will ever achieve in their sporting careers. However, unbeknownst to many, Yuri Sedek was just getting started. In order to find success in the hammer throw, athletes need a few very key characteristics to find success. You'll need world-class strength, you'll obviously need top-tier balance, but more than anything, you need the right technique in order to reach maximum distances. Now, contrary to popular belief, longer arms and a bigger build don't necessarily equate to longer throws, and one athlete who exemplified this fact more than anything was Yuri Sedek himself, who stood at 6 foot 1 and weighed 243 pounds. Now, this stature is certainly slightly taller and definitely heavier than your average person. However, Sedek's competition was often much taller and heavier, such as Yuri Tom, who stood at 6 foot 3, and Karl Hans Rim, who stood at 6 foot 5. The proper technique for the hammer throws varies slightly from person to person, as everyone has their own strengths and their own weaknesses with a dramatic wind up and release event like this. However, to break it down into basics, staying relaxed while allowing the hammer to reach maximum speed upon release with the correct angle can equate to longer throws. Again, the pathway to success does differ from person to person, with some choosing to rotate four times and others choosing to rotate three times. And if you want a more technical breakdown of ideal techniques, make sure to check out Harold Connolly's authoritative article on this very subject. The link will be down below in the description. For many years, the four-spin technique was considered to be the ultimate variable towards setting new standards in the men's hammer throw. However, against this premeditated idea, Sedek's three-spin technique would ultimately prove to be unmatched. Despite rotating a full 360 degrees less than many of his other competitors, his speed generated from just three rotations was nearly unattainable. In this article published in 1992 by Ralph Otto and Gabriel Hommel, they discovered that through each rotation, Sedek's maximum velocity increased dramatically, with a final release speed of approximately 30.7 meters per second. Now, this speed equates to a velocity of 68.67 miles per hour, or 42.6 kilometers per hour. And it's very important to remember here, this is a 16-pound ball we're talking about, so a speed of almost 70 miles per hour is simply insane. Now, throughout Hammer history, there's never been an exact formula to breaking a world record, but one thing is for sure, and that's that Sedek found a way to get this hammer moving faster and fly longer than anyone else throughout history. This nearly immaculate technique was something that many Hammer enthusiasts praised from Yuri Sedek, and as we alluded to just a few minutes earlier, 
This 25-year-old Soviet world record holder was just getting started. After a dominant year in 1980, Sedek entered the 1981 season with unmatched abilities. In fact, throughout this entire season, from May 24th up until October 2nd, he went completely undefeated, throwing beyond 77 meters in six separate competitions, and he actually averaged a distance of 77.83. This was an amazing season for the world record holder Yuri Sedek, and for the following year in 1982, he actually did the exact same thing, winning every single competition in dominant fashion, and then he ended his season on a super high note, winning the 1982 European Championships with one of the longest throws in history at 81.66 meters. And for this specific competition, he threw beyond 80 meters on five separate occasions. These previous two seasons were certainly unbelievable, and it made Sedek one of the greatest throwers of all time. But despite his complete and utter dominance, Sergei Litvinov was actually matching Sedek in terms of overall distances. In fact, in the early stages of 1982, he actually broke Sedek's world record with a legendary throw of 83.98, which actually took down Sedek's mark by more than two entire meters. This Soviet dominance was quickly growing with every single competition, and moving into 1983, they would ultimately clash in the very first installment of the World Athletics Championships in Helsinki, Finland. And despite Sedek's previous reign as the undisputed king, Litvinov pulled off a pretty big upset on this day, winning with a throw of 82.68 against Sedek's distance of 80.94. Fueled by this significant loss, Sedek looked to 1984 to finally get revenge on his fellow compatriot in the Olympic Games. But unfortunately, Sedek was not allowed to compete in the 84 Olympics due to the boycott from Russia during the Los Angeles Games. This boycott ultimately proved to be very significant because it ultimately crushed Sedek's abilities to successfully defend his two previous Olympic gold medals. However, perhaps this inability to compete in the Olympic Games also proved to be a massive motivating factor, because his 1984 season proved to be arguably the single greatest hammer throw season of all time. Right from the get-go, Sedek wasted no time taking names in 1984, winning his first four competitions with regular throws beyond 80 meters, and even before the middle of the season, he had already hit a distance of 82.6. Now, this was a solid opening to his 1984 campaign. However, on July 3rd in Cork, Ireland, Sedek unleashed one of the greatest world record throws of all time. For this competition, he was again slated to compete against his fellow countryman Litvinov, who again was the world record holder coming into this event. However, despite this rather intimidating title, Sedek had other thoughts, as he did the unthinkable in this competition. A double Olympic champion, been leading the world rankings this year, very fast and very high, and a beautiful throw, look at this, way, way out and hits the line beyond 85 meters, the world record, 84.14, so it must be a new mark, and a new mark by a long way. In fact, they're going to have to stretch that tape measure to measure this, the longest throw in history. With an absolutely gargantuan throw of 86.34 meters, he didn't just become the first person to throw beyond 86 meters, he became the first person to throw beyond 85 meters. This throw was so massive that it took down the previous mark of his teammate Litvinov by 2.5% which, considering the absolutely massive records up to this point for the previous few seasons, made this throw in Cork, Ireland one of the landmark moments in the men's hammer. Following this new massive record, Sedek went on a rampage of victories throughout 1984, winning every remaining competition and never throwing below 83 meters. Throughout the entire 1984 campaign, his average distance achieved was 83.6 meters, which incredibly would have been a new world record just four years earlier, and yet this was his total season average throughout 84. With an unbeaten season like this, he somehow managed to do the exact same thing in 1985, winning every single competition and surpassing 80 meters in every single event. At this point in his career, Sedek really did seem unbeatable. However, what many people consider to be the single greatest day in hammer throw history came at the 1986 European Championships in Stuttgart, Germany, where along with his teammate once again, they both together would make history. 
Now, for this installment of the European Games, Litvinov started off red hot, throwing down a huge gauntlet at 85.74 meters to take an early lead. Now, throughout the opening three rounds, Sedek did manage to get rather close at 85.46 meters. However, the distance of 85.74 seemed to be nearly insurmountable on this day. At the time, this 85.74 meter throw was actually one of the top five greatest throws in the history of the hammer throw. However, despite this intimidating moment, in round four, the two-time Olympic champion Yuri Sedek struck once again. With a fourth round effort of 86.74 meters, Sedek once again put the competition to bed. This throw would ultimately prove to be the single greatest throw in the history of the men's hammer, lasting more than three decades and never even being approached. Along with this amazing new single throw record, Sedek's six round series on this day is also regarded as the all-time greatest series in hammer throwing history. With no round fouls and an average throwing distance of 85.78 meters, Sedek's average throwing distance here actually took down Litvinov's best throw on the day, and earlier in the competition, many thought that this distance could not be beaten. This distance of 86.74 has now stood for almost 37 years, making it the longest standing world record in men's track and field history. But the crazy part about this very special athlete is that even though he broke six world records, he won countless competitions, and he held multiple undefeated seasons to his name. He still had many more years of competitions, because all the way up until 2003, he still competed regularly in international competitions. This longevity is something that is rarely seen in any sport around the world, much less a demanding discipline like the hammer throw. And with such incredible consistency throughout the years, he set a record in this event that may never be matched. From 1976 until 2003, a 27-year time span, Sedek threw beyond the 80-meter mark a total of 204 times. And to truly appreciate just how incredible this really is, there are only three athletes this season that have surpassed the 80-meter barrier, making this mark of 80 meters one of the most difficult to attain in the men's hammer throw. As we mentioned earlier in this video, only two athletes have ever eclipsed the 86 meter barrier in this event, and while these numbers do represent unmatched greatness in this sport, they also come with many questions concerning performance enhancing drugs. For two entire decades, Sedek was one of the most consistent and dominant athletes in track and field, winning many of the top tier events throughout the world and setting records in consistent fashion. And given these records and hyper competitive focus throughout the years, Yuri Sedek simply has to be considered as the single greatest hammer thrower to ever live. And he's really caught that one. Oh, and it's close to the world record. <laughs> 